What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for all signs, comes through Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading for all signs. Hopefully, you can hear me okay. I've got the volume all the way up. So I apologize if you cannot. And um, there's fireworks going on outside because it's uh, Independence Day. Um, hashtag, where's my freedom? Just saying, just saying. That's what I say about it. But, you know, hey, just saying. Um, so, yeah, so I received another channel message. So I'm going to deliver it. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, we're at 12,000. I'm sorry. 13,280 subscribers, I think, right now. So, thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. Uh, if you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. I went over all that. Um, so, love you guys. Just saying. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the recent donations, by the way. I want to say that real quick. Thanks for all the recent donations. Um, I, every single one of them. So, thanks so much. I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, just saying. Okay. So, the channel message I received was um, um, a very wealthy um, Aquarian uh, masculine energy is about to find out he has another STD. I heard he's going to be shocked as hell. Um, I heard he got it from a um, water sign feminine. So you plug it in how it resonates. I, I don't know why I'm getting this one. Y'all know I get the random, most random channelings ever, but that's what I got. So I don't know. I think one of you guys is connected to him or you're can't, or you're connected to the water sign fan that gave it to him. Um, but I heard he is about to find out again. He's got another STD. Um, now I didn't hear what kind of STD this is. Um, cause you know, there's different varying levels. Um, I, I've told y'all my STD story on here before. It's been about eight years since I've got, uh, I've had one STD in my life, one, but it was treatable. It was trichomonas. I got it from a childhood friend. Um, and about eight years ago, shortly after I graduated uh, nursing school and I was at, um, I was about a year and a half after nursing school, I was at my first job. Uh, nursing job and we and I got trichomonas um, but I went to the public health department it's very treatable I took my treatment my antibiotics it cleared up I'm STD free that was eight years ago but I shared this with you guys because I pull in STDs from time to time like this I d and I say that because some STDs are treatable some are not. So, I mean, I don't know if this is treatable or not. I mean, God, I hope it's not HIV. I didn't hear it was. I didn't hear it was. But whatever it is, it's another one, though. It's another one. So, I don't know. Um, I don't know. He's very wealthy, though. I'll tell you that. He's very wealthy. Um, I heard a water sign film gave it to him. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Femme. She could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, and her Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haver, Jupiter, Charge. You plug it in, how it resonates. I'm going to use Kipper. He is about to be so pissed. I heard he is about to be so pissed. Um, he's probably going to be like the fireworks. Exploding. I heard he's going to be so pissed. I think he's about to find out. Um, and I think he's about to um, find out like he's but going to become symptomatic in some shape, form, or fashion. Um Main male reverse, number one, could be very significant number one's life, number one. It could be a possible age of a child of his or this water sign fins or any other significant number, number one. Yeah. 
for some these are third party situations for some, some they're sneaky links for some they are sugar daddy situations for some they are committed relationships uh, okay, so for some, they're sugar daddy relationships. So basically, like mistress and or mister uh, mistress energy, him paying her for sex, like prostitute energy. Sugar daddy energy is like prostitute energy for anybody who doesn't know. So for some, it's sugar daddy um, um, energy. Which okay, so in that situation, he not only was paying her for the sex. But then he gets an STD. Uh, yikes. I mean, I'd be wanting my money back. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Nay, 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 nay. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> but I'm not him. So in some of these situations, it's sugar daddy situation. So he was paying her for sex like a prostitute. But he ends up with an STD from her. And this is not his first STD. It's not his first STD. Oh my God, and we got despair upright underneath it. It's not his first STD. Whoever this wealthy um, Aquarius masculine energy is. For some, it is third party situations, uh, third party situation, uh, that, 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 third party situations. For some, it's sneaky links, which is um, like third parties, but very, 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 very sneaky, very secret. Um, and for some, it's committed relationships. But we have main male reverse. So um, I think that's the sugar daddy situation, the non committal type situations, except for the committed relationship. The committed, um, but I think it's main male reverse with the committed relationship because I think he's um, whoever that uh, wealthy Aquarius masculine energy in the committed relationship um, is for, I think he, um, he realizes he is a third party. Uh, or, um, yeah, I think he realizes he's the third party because where did she get the STD? Not for, I mean, I'm assuming not from him because I heard he got it from her. If it's committed, there shouldn't be any STDs. Well, there could be if you get together and somebody has an STD, but if you both get together and it's committed and you are both STD free and then somebody ends up with STD, it has to be from an outside source is what I'm saying. So, you plug it in how it resonates. So, I think it's infidelity here. Infidelity and the obvious sugar daddy energy, non-committal energy. Sugar daddy energy, um, sticky link energy, third party energy, blase, blase, blase. You know what I'm saying? Non-committal, period, point blank. Even the committed one, because he's about to realize his partner is non-committal. And then, um, despair upright. Number 32 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 32. Um, I heard he's going to be pissed. Um, he's about to find out very, very, very soon. He's about to find out very, very, very soon. So he's about to find out soon. Number seven could be a very significant number in one's life too. Number seven, message reversed. Hold on. Whoa. All right. For one of these wealthy Aquarian masculine energies, it's going to be very, very, very bad. One, a very detrimental STD. And for another, he will be so symptomatic. Okay, so there's at least two. Well, there's several well, uh, wealthy Aquarius masculine energies in here with this. Um, there's several situations. So... For one of them, um, I heard it's going to be a very detrimental STD. So I think that's HIV, but I could be wrong. Because um, to me, that's the worst of the STDs, um, in my opinion, because it can turn into AIDS. And it's very, it's, even though you can extend your life um, these days 
with HIV, with treatment and medication, um, treatment, i.e. the medication, extend your life span, it's still, it's very, uh-uh. The other ones, some of the other ones, you can just take the round of medication, knock it out, you're clear. With some of them, it really all depends on what they have. But one I heard is very detrimental, so it's going to affect their health very detrimentally, is what I'm feeling. And I feel, um, one, it might be HIV, and I'm serious, I didn't hear it was, but I feel it might be for one. Um, and for the other one, I heard their health is going to go down so bad um, from the symptoms. They're going to be so symptomatic. So. This is terrible. This is really, really, really terrible. It really is. So message reversed. There was no communica proper communication here about this. He is going to lay into her, but he will not get anywhere. Okay, I heard there, um, there's, um, there was no proper communication about this, so i.e. I don't think he told, he didn't tell her. Um, the water sign femme didn't tell him in any of these situations that she had this. Um, so betrayal energy here, like ten of swords energy. Um, but I heard basically, um, I heard he's going to lay into her, lay into her, so I think it's going to be like a verbal altercation. Um, because he'll be so upset about it, but I heard basically, um, he won't get anywhere with her. He won't get anywhere with her. And so I think it's going to fall on deaf ears. Like she obviously didn't care enough to give him the STD. Um, so why would she care when he brings it to her? Um, the, the conversation, you know what I'm saying? I mean, and that's sad. That's really sad, but I really feel that's how this is going to go here um, because I heard he's not going to get anywhere, meaning I think it's going to fall on deaf ears. That's exactly what I think. You plug it in how it resonates. One of these Aquarius masculines will be so pissed through many series of chain events that they're going to report this water sign feminine for a criminal behavior of the past. They know she just keeps getting away with shit and getting away with shit and getting away with shit and he realizes he has enabled this. Okay, I heard in one of these situations, the uh, wealthy Aquarius masculine energy after all this shit happens because it hasn't happened yet. I mean, the STD, I think, has happened in the universe, but as far as him finding out, I don't think it's happened yet. But I heard it's going to happen soon and quickly. And then the rest of the stuff hasn't happened yet. So upcoming in the universe. But it sounds like after the conversation occurs and it falls on deaf ears and it's like nonchalant, she doesn't give a crap and... Um, it's just like, lazy, 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 like, okay, whatever, I gave you the STD, suck it up, buttercup kind of energy, um, which is sad. I heard it's going to piss one of these off so bad that they're going to end up doing something they never thought they would do. And I heard that is going to be reporting her for, um, for something he never thought he would, uh, report her for, for, cause she's a criminal. Um, because he knows um, she keeps getting away with shit and getting away with shit and getting away with shit and getting away with shit. And he's just basically enabling it. Enabling means helping, helping. So you can enable good behavior. You can enable bad behavior. He has been enabling the bad behavior, i.e. the criminal behavior. Um, wow. And when you do this, no, it's going to go fast. And when you do this, know it's going to go fast. So, oh, okay. So that's for you, Aquarius Masculine. So I heard when you do this, know it's going to go fast. So when you report her ass for whatever crime or crime she's committed in the past, 
know it's going to go fast. I think there's going to be a huge ass investigation there. Or maybe the police can involve quick, I, depending on what crime or crime she has committed. I don't know. Um, but one of you guys knows she's done something criminal. I'll tell you that. Whether you're the sugar daddy, um, the third party, the sneaky link, or the um, committed partner. However that resonates, sirs. Uh, but all four of you, I feel, are very wealthy. Well, I heard you're very wealthy, masculine, Aquarius energies. So you, uh, you're, you're wealthy. You're wealthy. Um, you can have Aquarius in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hamid, Jupiter charts. You plug it in how it resonates, sirs. For one, you're a banker. For one, you're a lawyer. For one, you work at a restaurant. For one, you're a banker, one, you're a lawyer, and one, you work at a restaurant. So you plug it in how it resonates. One, you're Aryan, and one, you're Aryan. Oh, my, oh, Lord. One, you're a banker, one, you're a lawyer, one, you're a, um, you work at a restaurant. So whatever restaurant that is. And one, you're Aryan, a registered nurse. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. Hold on one second. J R T A B K J R T A B K J R T A B K J is in Jack and Lantern, R is in Rabbit, um, T is in Tiger, A is in Apple, K is in Kite. You plug it in, how it resonates. M P M and P and S and S. M, P, S. M is in uh, money. P is in pumpkin. S is in sunshine. So you plug it in how it resonates. So that could be a first middle, last initial, first, middle, or last initial of you or your water sign fem or however that resonates. Um, I heard these initials for a reason. So there's at least four of you guys um, in the universe. So... You plug the, the initials in, how they resonate. I feel it could be a first, middle, last initial of you, wealthy Aquarius masculine energy's name, or a first, middle, or last initial of the water sign Finn's name. But I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Okay? So you have to plug it in, how it resonates. And H. And H. So H is in um, holiday. So you plug it in, how it resonates. I, I don't know. I don't know. You plug it in how it resonates. All right, you guys. I love you guys so much. Um, everybody, have a good day and I'm going to stay.